panic attacks are extremely frightening to experience and if you've ever experienced a panic attack before, you will know just how frightening they are. But if you've never had a panic attack before, this video is going to help you understand what panic attacks are, the symptoms of panic attacks and what happens during a panic attack. Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome to Authentic Mental Health, the channel that offers advice and friendly support within our like-minded community with videos on mental health, self-help and self-improvement. So if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed and you've turned the bell notification button on so you never miss our helpful videos that are going to help you. Today's helpful video is coming up right after this. Ostracized from a cruel society Just cause I suffer from a little anxiety Please help me I say quietly through gritty teeth and a fight for sobriety Before we get into this video I want you to comment down below right now if you've ever ended up in the hospital due to a panic attack I have many many times before Because sometimes panic attacks can make you feel and think like you're dying. Let's show others that they are not alone if they have ended up in the hospital due to a panic attack. So if you've ended up in the hospital due to a panic attack, I want you to comment in the comment section down below right now. A panic attack can happen without warning or reason, which makes them even more terrifying. Panic attacks cause an intense fear that causes extreme physical symptoms when there is no apparent danger or cause. Picture this, you're at home watching the television when suddenly, out of the blue, your heart starts pounding against your chest. You're finding it extremely difficult to breathe. You think, this is it, I'm going to die. And you feel like you're going crazy. That is what a panic attack feels like. Panic attacks can be debilitating, immobilizing, and intense. Panic attacks are a symptom of panic disorder, which is a type of anxiety disorder. Panic attacks can strike at any time when you're driving a car, whilst you're shopping, whilst you're asleep, which is known as nocturnal panic attacks. My wife suffers from these, and believe me, they are extremely scary. Whilst you're in school, whilst you're at work, they can happen anywhere. Panic attacks usually reach their peak within 10 minutes and very, very rarely last more than an hour. The symptoms of panic attacks include the following. Shortness of breath or hyperventilation, racing heart or heart palpitations, chest pains, feeling like you're choking, feeling detached from your body and your surroundings, sweating, trembling or shaking, hot or cold flashes, fear of dying or going crazy, feeling like you're losing control, feeling lightheaded, dizzy or faint, and feeling nauseous. Many people experience just one or two panic attacks during their lives. But you may be diagnosed with panic disorder if you experience frequent panic attacks, worry uncontrollably about having a panic attack, or avoiding places where you've had panic attacks before. The exact causes of panic disorder and panic attacks remains unclear, but what is known is that panic disorder and panic attacks run in families. So if your parents have been diagnosed with panic disorder or suffer from panic attacks, then you're at a higher risk of experiencing panic attacks too. It is also believed that major life-changing events, such as graduating, starting work for the first time, getting married, or having a baby are linked to panic attacks too. Severe stress, such as losing your job, getting a divorce, or losing a loved one in your life can trigger panic attacks. If you think you might be experiencing panic attacks or suffering from panic disorder, please seek help immediately. You can speak to your doctor, a mental health professional, or click the link in the description box down below where you can speak to someone immediately who can help you. I now want to hear from you guys and girls in the comment section down below. I want to hear about your personal experiences with panic attacks, 
What is the worst panic attack you have ever had before in your life? Let me know and others know in the comment section down below. If you've enjoyed this video, found it useful and helpful, please give this video a like. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed to Authentic Mental Health and you follow us on our Twitter and Instagram to keep up to date with Authentic Mental Health. Our social media links are in the description box down below. Take care guys and girls, I'll see you all again in another video.